<laughs> but um, the reason why is it, it's just a conversation related to creativity. Mm. Whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And some of it could be the actual process of creativity, of making something. Some of it's just the stuff that gets in our freaking way. <laughs> it's crazy because we've had so many good conversations that should have been recorded. Yes. And what's even harder is, at first, will be to have to remember them and then talk about them in front of the mic. Yes. Or even try to get the, like, when you're on the spot, kind of, like, to talk about it. Yeah. Uh, well, that's why, like, I almost I almost did it, but then it would have broke the moment of, I was going to, as you were talking, I was uh, going to get up and grab the mics and just put them near, near us and oh, say, yeah. hey, keep talking. Just keep talking. <laughs> it's fine. Because you're right, because then uh, to sit down and do these things, it's going to break that natural, like, sitting there. And that's why I was saying, like, we shouldn't censor ourselves of what we're going to oh, say. Oh, yeah. Because sometimes some of the better conversation, conversations that we have about whatever comes from us first talking about how bad work is. Yeah. Or how bad, you know. And then it gets how bad into bosses that. are. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Since I'm your boss. And then, uh, yeah, I fall in that category. <laughs> I'm not your boss. If I was your boss, I would have had a different phone call. I would have called you and said, hey, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh, yeah, it was late. Yeah. Oopsie. Well, no. I, I don't understand. I mean, I like Disneyland, but I don't understand that obsession with like these grown people are so. You can say it, grown ass men. How <laughs> <laughs> these grown ass men? Oh. So like diehard fans. It's weird. I, well, wait, but then also, hello, Star Wars. That's true. And that's a part of Disney. Right? Yeah, it's a part of Disney now, and now they're building a land. A, like an area in Disney for it, which is kind of sad. It's that whole, that whole thing of um, the loss of nostalgia. Things aren't left in the past anymore. Yeah. Like, you know they. I mean, I know they, they, you know, fashion and everything cycles around eventually, but the fact that the Backstreet Boys never went away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beto and I were talking about that yesterday. That's why we were talking about the the loss of, like, certain artists and and just things never have gone away. Not because they're talented or anything, but mm -hmm. it's just because, like with Star Wars, they they wear out on a certain generation, certain age, right? Because they were you know like they were there at the beginning, right? And then ten years later that generation doesn't care about it. So they re-put out another movie or they re-put yeah. out the thing and it reinvigorates the next generation to like it. That's true. And they just keep... But even if it's crappy? Even yeah. if it's crappy because it doesn't have to be... I mean, it does have to have a little bit of, of, of notoriety, uh -huh. right? And what helps is is that the previous generation is talking about it. They see their kid watching it like, oh yeah, I remember that you know yeah, thing. That's and true. It's, and it sort of helps propel it along and it keeps going. And um, uh, I, I didn't have the example, but uh, Fedo gave the example of Madonna. Oh, weird. Go ahead, tell me, because I was just talking about her yesterday. Oh, really? <laughs> and it, well, just the fact that it, it, she's not as talented as we think. You know, a lot of it is produced, and a lot of it is that. It's reintroduction to the next generation, to the next generation. Living off of the fame that she had from way before. That. Exactly. She's almost ridiculous now. Yeah. But it's Madonna, bitch, or whatever. Oh, yeah. Or, yeah. And it's like, I was talking about this yesterday. It's so funny because, <laughs> man, like 80s, awesome. But I remember the 90s, my favorite was, um, what album was it? She just got into like, all, almost like... Um, Indian, like, oh, yeah, yeah, like it was. I love the 90s for me, for Madonna, and like, oh, it was erotica and all, like, was um, amazing. And then I kind of I lost, I was like, eh. and now she's trying oh. to. She looks, re I just watched this video the mm -hmm. other day of her, her new, I'm um, bitch, oh, Madonna, that's what it is. Yeah, she looks so, ridiculous. It is stupid. She the video's stupid, too. Ridiculous. Yeah. She's like, what, 
almost 60. Yeah. Come on. And like kissing on other girls and like, oh, I'm going to, um, we're going to get drunk tonight. And I don't know. Yeah. I just don't get, it's like. Well, oh God, you're watching right? it. And I'm, I'm thinking the whole time when I saw the video, like she can't really live like that. If she no. did, she wouldn't, Mm-mm. she wouldn't be able to function. She doesn't, but she, that's. Oh, I need to connect. I need to be relevant. Yeah. This is what's cool right now. So I'm going to do it. And to me, that makes you like a sellout. And yeah. like, ew, you're exactly. not even true to yourself. You just want to sell you, and be noticed. It makes her uh, formulaic. She, yes. They look for the current formula. Throw that out there again. Yeah. Look for the, this, that's almost like you yeah. were saying, the 90s. It was a great album. But if you look at it, it was formulaic. It, mm. They kind of looked at what was around, what was kind of edgy, what would get the younger kids to listen to her again. Mm. Throw that out there. Yeah, because in the and, '80s, yeah. she's she invented like she was invented. Yeah. I, yeah, I believe yeah, she. Yeah. No one. That's why she blew up. Because like, whoa. Yeah. No one's done that. Yeah. Now you have all these other stupid girls like Miley Cyrus and all that, like doing all these things, just like thinking that's yeah. the road to it. Because when Madonna did like a virgin in her wedding in a wedding dress and like crawling all yeah. over the stage, it was like, <gasps> oh my yeah. god. And now yeah. everybody thinks, oh, that's the way to do. It. Oh my yeah. gosh, it tries oh, yeah. me. Everything drives me nuts right now. Oh yeah, it's sad. It's, it's sad. The, the the formula is sad. That's the thing. But that was the other thing that uh, is the. So I heard this interview with this guy. They were interviewing some critic, and he's talking about how TV or I guess TV in general, like Netflix and Amazon and television itself, and then like the other higher up channels and cable, um, they've reached what they call a critical saturation point. Because right now, there are 400 shows that are out. Brand new, original produced shows. Some are reality shows, some are scripted, some are dramas, whatever. But there's 400 of them. And he says, Cause that's, and he said, the problem is, as a, just as a critic, from a critic standpoint, these are seasonal shows, right? Some of them are miniseries and stuff, but there's more than just one hour. <laughs> so he's like, I could watch a new one I have to binge watch every day of the year, and I wouldn't be able to watch all of them. I would be like, I I wouldn't be able to get to the end. Yeah. And even then, you can't critique that fast. You're going to lose. You get burned out. So it's like, it's getting to the point where there's two things, right? You go the old way where, you know, TV was much more narrow in the sense that you only, you know, um, YouTube didn't exist and. So you didn't have a lot of outlet, right? So there was only 40 shows at the most being produced or something, um, or even less than that. But then, um, or you, and so they go backwards that way, which then constricts all the creativity that we do have, and then, or the production ability that everyone does have, uh, not just our production, but like Netflix and Amazon, like you can't take it away from them and they can put out as much as they want. Mm-hmm. So then the next thing that's gonna happen is, is the formulas have to change because the formulas only work for a mass audience if you want to have to please the country mm-hmm. right that's what a lot of like Madonna and stuff that's what they try to do they, they found the formulas that work um, but as things go forward and everyone's attention gets scattered it'll get more niche like how YouTube is where like a YouTube person if they get 20 million hits no one blinks yeah. Right? Like, yeah. But if a TV show gets 20 million views, everyone's like, oh my God, we got 20 million views. True. And no one cares. And, uh, they they have a shit with that. But now, yeah, it, it, because it's such an easy niche to, you know, you, you have your yeah. little niches. So you can make all these other, your formula that only works for your little world that doesn't work beyond that anymore. And, but that's okay. You can survive on a little world. Yeah, you can. That's the thing. I think like a lot of the younger kids that are in the industry, their mind is set the world. Right. They are not happy with just what they have in their little world or whatever. It's right. So, it's, it's, I don't know. I, I'm just so uh, disappointed in how <laughs> where all that stuff is headed. Yeah. Well, it's funny. Is those little kids like the Justin Bieber's and stuff. Uh, their mind is set on the world, yet at the same time, they are helping to pr- to further the cause of the stuff that will break the world. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? Like, Justin Bieber doing the stuff he does, 
slowly but surely will isolate it to where he becomes a niche. And now the world won't isn't reachable anymore. Yeah. It, it'll slowly just go. Because now it, 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 the this all-reaching... Because um, the music industry that's happening to them, right? Where they keep trying to push, you know, we're the music industry and we're whatever record company and we own you as a musician. And more and more musicians are like, well, fuck that. I'll just go sell yep. my own stuff on iTunes. I don't need yep. this big conglomerate anymore and and it's slowly chipping not slowly it's actually quickly chipping away because the same things are like with the the cord cutting for cable as a, a, a year ago it wasn't and like you know they, they weren't really worried about it but now the last thing I heard in the past year they lost 15% of their customer base oh yeah I'm to gonna be make it 16% because <laughs> yeah. I'm on my way out too oh yeah yeah, yeah. see so then, then that's that that because the cable company represents that whole I'm going to reach the world mm -hmm. thing and it's going to take it it's going to go it'll fall so if you're trying to go for that that's your goal you're just going to fall with it you won't make it because there's so it's not, being that there's so much out there mm -hmm. everybody has their own little preferences and their own little shows that they watch yeah. everything is it's almost like just catered for them so you don't need cable that has all these other ones so oh, yeah. yeah I'll get Amazon Prime and I'll just watch all my shows that I like you know I got mm -hmm. Empire How to Get Away with Murder and what else did I watch and yeah, on, on, yeah. on that because I like it when I go to Amazon and even though I've paid Prime there are other ones you can get that you have to pay extra for like mm -hmm. actually pay to rent or yes. to buy yes. on top of it right but yes. Prime has a lot of free stuff but I like it where like I like to show Veep and it's two dollars a show. Mm -hmm. I'm like, but I know that if I buy that, it's going toward. I'm hoping it is going toward the show yeah, more than it is going toward a cable company who gives. I never thought of that. That's right. Right. And that makes sense since so you're the, supporting the right. actual show. Right. So it goes back into that. Yeah, maybe. Hopefully, you should look into that. Hopefully, they uh, yeah, something. that 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 would be a good uh, thing to research of where does that money go? Yeah. You know, because. I'd hate to find out it's like a CD. Is you know how like CDs, everyone's like, Oh wow, you sold a million CDs, but the the artist is always like, I got like five cents from yeah. that. The rest yep. of it went to the record company. Yep. So they don't because that's the whole thing, is the artists they don't care all they care about is their stuff gets out there, mm -hmm. right? Because then you come see their live performance mm -hmm. or whatever. And um, but it's the record companies that are like, Oh, you can't copy our stuff, it's all digital. Right. And uh, I wish I we were younger. Oh my god! So different. It was so difficult when we were younger. It yeah. was like seemed, you know, like in the fifties. Um, what I think was like, um, there you had the movie world, but no one could touch. It was so glamorized because you, mm -hmm. no one had access right. to it. And that's how I felt. Not that we were from the fifties or anything, but when we were, but younger, it was still the same. It yeah, was still the it was still. So, it was not reachable there was not thousands of these gossip magazines there wasn't twitter or mm -hmm. facebook where you felt connected where the stars were actually speaking to you right it wasn't right. like that so then for us try to make our stuff it was like we're gonna do it it that's why i mean it was just so impossible there was no other outlet to to put it out to the the funny thing now is that now <laughs> years and years later now we can show that stuff now the world could see our stuff that's like yeah. 20 years old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, because now we have, then that's the, the, the other dynamic that's very different, right? Because like back then, we would produce something, the best we could probably do is put it on the channel at Oxford College, yeah. right? And we were like, oh shit, we got it on. And it was on once, maybe twice. Sometimes Katie might have ran it a couple, you know, a, few times during the week you know but then that's it it would go away yeah. it would never be seen again yeah. it's lost in an archive somewhere or in a trunk or hidden or something <laughs> and now not only can they see our or you know something we produced 20 years ago it'll sit there and they can watch it whenever the heck they want to watch it and they can binge watch everything that we have yeah. you know the whole cat the whole I want to do that <laughs> We need to binge. Oh my gosh! If we got us all together uh -huh. to do that, that would be to just watch our own funny. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Have drinks. Have I mean that would just be that'd be fun actually. Yeah. Hilarious. That would be hilarious. Oh, that's almost like a reunion. Yeah. Oh, we should do that. We should do. You got that. a projector. I got loudspeakers. 
We gotta do it. We just needed the space. What yeah. Would you, that's the whole thing. Yeah. This isn't big enough. It no. Be big enough. Plus, we don't want people coming in here drinking and yeah, no. sitting around. We'll, we'll, we gotta have a space. We gotta think of that. That would be nice. That would be. That would be hilarious. Uh, yeah. That would be fun. Yep. Just means you have to bring two Morocco pieces of it at least. Come on. <laughs> yep. At yeah, least I do. I, do. I gotta get that. Oh, and I, I did. I uh, emailed Matt. Oh, you did. Yeah, I just let him know, like, hey, you know, what's up? What's up? we're doing, doing it. Yeah, it's like, um, go. I said something. I was like, oh, you did so great. I can't wait to show you, like, raw something. I liked your idea that you had the other day about when we were talking about the virtual office story and how giving the actor the raw when we're done and. I think that's genius. Yeah, that's invaluable. Yeah. I mean, because that's yeah. all I've ever freaking wanted. Like, I didn't care. I mean, if they said, I would understand, you're, you're not going to pay me, I get it. But at least, I, you know, oh, yeah, but you'll get, I would never get. I haven't, there's so much stuff that I've done out there that I've never seen. <laughs> and that would be the thing is, 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 I thought of it as we get uh, customized USB drives mm -hmm. with our company name on it. Mm-hmm. And then you put the video on. We'd have to compress it. It wouldn't be the raw because the raw would be too big to put on oh, the USB yeah. drive. Gotcha. Um, but, 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 but all we'd have to do is we we'd say like we go, we shoot, and then we come back. We throw it in, no editing. We just throw it all on a timeline, yeah. let it render, and then you know, then give them that, those files so it'd be ready the next day. Yeah. It wouldn't take that long. It'd be ready the next day. But then at least they'd have. You're right. They'd have something they can go and say. To build a reel off of, if they wanted to. They yes. don't need the whole movie, that they can at least no. build a reel off of that. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that is genius. Thank you. I liked that idea. Leah, genius. Thank you. <laughs> no, Leah's idea was genius. Leah was genius. <laughs> oh, no, wait. You didn't see my Facebook post? Oh, I said no, about it, you could talk, it, people who talk to themselves are genius. <laughs> yes. I saw yes. It. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yep, yep. Yeah. Makes sense. Vince never talks to himself. He freaks out when I was like, he does not understand why I talk to myself. He thinks I'm saying something and I'm going to breath to him. Well, oh, really? Well, because sometimes I am. But then there's times <laughs> where I'm actually talking to myself and he's like, what did you say? What's it mean if you argue with yourself? Argue? I, I, I argue with myself. That's bad like, scientist stuff. As I'm editing and stuff, I'll sit there and I'll like literally argue about the cut that I'm about to do oh. to myself out yeah, loud. Yeah, you're right. You know what I do that. Yeah. You know what I have to get out of the habit of? I'll do something. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> to yourself? Or, yes. Or I'm like, <laughs> fucking idiot. I swear. I, that is so negative. Yeah. I have to, I, I, I Seriously, I, this happened like last week and I go, I need to stop talking to myself like that. I don't like other people talking. Why, why am I saying that to yeah. myself? It's so funny. Yeah, I was like. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Oh, gosh. That's funny. Yes, that yeah. must be the mad scientist level. Yeah, but, yeah, I, I agree, though. The talk, it, talking out loud. Hello. It helps you. What is it? Is that a message? Oh, I thought it was a phone call. Oh, no. what your phone call sound like. You're still cold? I, got the, I just got the chill. Well, that's the one thing I was thinking with with the this thing. We don't have to always record it here. Oh, I can take the bathroom with me. Yeah, you can go to the bathroom. <laughs> go ahead. I'll I'll edit it out. Quote quote. Yes, yes. Do you have to go to the bathroom? Go to the bathroom. You are literally <laughs> dancing right now. Take the mic with you. <laughs>